Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. Hope that you're doing well. I just got this in the mail today. The new Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Love. And wouldn't you know it, I bought this from Macy's for $86. Literally, the next day, Macy's started doing a big sale on pretty much all their fragrances. So that was awesome. Had I placed the order 24 hours later, I would have been able to save on it, but... That's just the way it goes. I'll link this one down below in the description. Maybe that sale is still going on. I'm not sure exactly how long it's for. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys the presentation. I'll break this down and let you know what I think about it. I've been wearing this all day. I couldn't wait. I just went ahead and opened it as soon as it came in. And I'll let you guys know how does this stack up and is it something that you should buy? So let's jump into it. It is time for the presentation. Here we got the box. You got the name of the house, the size and concentration, as well as the name of the fragrance all right there on the front. And I really do like this blue and white scheme. It looks really clean and fresh. You got that DG up on top of the box. On the back, you've got your ingredients. And on the bottom, you're gonna find your badge code. Badge code here is 1351C9. And here is the bottle. I gotta say, it's nice. I really like the subtle tweak, the change that the cap makes. I've talked about this before, but this cap style is the original Dolce & Gabbana Porome cap style. I think it looks so much nicer than the traditional light blue cap. I think the light blue cap looks cheap and crappy. I think this one looks a lot nicer. Name of the fragrance, name of the house, all right there on the front. On the bottom, you're gonna find your badge code etched into the glass, and of course, the cap clicks into place. It actually has a, a decent amount of heft to it, so it's got a, a nice weight in the hand. Feels nice. Let me blast a couple sprays for you guys here. Let's do it. Nice. Now, if you've been around this channel for a minute, you know that this one, Light Blue Forever, is something I love. The grapefruit in here is awesome to me. I think it smells amazing. It really is a grapefruit bomb, though, so you have to really like grapefruit. That has to be your thing. This one is very rindy and natural smelling. It doesn't come across overly synthetic. Some people don't like that. Some people smell it and they think, nah, just give me that, give me that crapola. Give me that, that synthetic citrus that just smells like a, a popsicle melted onto my skin. Nah, I don't want that popsicle. I want that fruit bar made with 100% natural fruit. And that's what forever gives you. So I really dig that. Now there's a difference in price here. Interestingly enough, it's, it's a little bit strange actually. Light blue forever. This is an eau de parfum. Light Blue Italian Love is in Eau de Toilette, and they have priced it accordingly. This one, Light Blue Forever, at retail, is $110 for a 100 ml size bottle. Not really cheap when you consider typical designer prices. I mean, it's not up at the high end with stuff like Sauvage Elixir, but it's not really affordable either. Light Blue Italian Love is $86 at retail. So it's much more affordable. And if you get the 50 mil size, it's $68. So pretty nice actually. Right now with that sale that's going on on Macy's, and again, this is limited, so I don't know when it's gonna stop. Hopefully when I publish this video, it's still going to exist. But with that sale right now, you can get this, a 50 mil of it, for $57.80. For a brand, brand new release, that's pretty friggin' good. So the pricing here is really interesting in that this is $24 less at full retail for a 100 ml size bottle than the release that came out last year. So I got kind of distracted there. Light Blue Forever, I loved it. The grapefruit, amazing. I think it's the best grapefruit that they've done ever in these Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue fragrances. Really the best citrus they've done ever. Because up until Light Blue O oh, Intense, most of the flankers in the Light Blue line were forgettable. It's not that they were bad scents, they were completely usable, they were fine for summertime, no big deal, but that actually was the problem, they were no big deal. Oh Intense was very, very good. Light Blue Forever took it to the next level. That citrus for me, amazing. The dry down, not as interesting, but the vetiver in there, really good. So, finally, this one. Light Blue Italian Love, what do I think about it? How's this thing smell? What do I think about it? Mmm. I love it. But, and this is a big old but, this is a Sir Mix-a-Lot sized but. It is redundant to the next level if you already have Light Blue Forever. Now, when you spray on Light Blue Italian Love, first thing you get hit with, that grapefruit. It's back, baby. It's back for seconds. That grapefruit note that they used in Forever, it's here. 
it's not as rindy, it's not as in your face as Light Blue Forever's grapefruit note, but it's it's close. It's been toned down a little bit. The bergamot has been boosted ever so slightly in Light Blue Italian Love as compared to Light Blue Forever, but it is still close. And this should not be a surprise, actually. If you look at the note breakdown for Light Blue Italian Love and Light Blue Forever, they're pretty close. How close, you might say? Well, let me go ahead and show you. Here you go. Light Blue Forever and the brand new Light Blue Italian Love. That is the official note breakdown for each one. Did you notice any similarities in there? Yeah, me too. So yeah, that grapefruit, it's there in the opening, just like in Light Blue Forever, but slightly toned down. The rindiness is still there, just not as in your face. A little bit more bergamot has a green tinge to it, ever so slightly more than you're gonna find in Light Blue Forever. So you have this kind of green freshness around the edges of the scent. I would say it tickles my nose a little bit more than Light Blue Forever, uh, especially if you're smelling it up close. So I'm guessing that's from the ozonic notes that are in there. It's a little bit more pronounced in Light Blue Italian Love. As it dries down, Light Blue Italian Love uh, features vetiver most prominently for me. That's what I pick up on the most. Main difference in the base is going to be Gaiac Wood in this one, Light Blue Italian Love. And it gives like a, a very faint, very faint, like woody, leathery, kind of feel underneath the vetiver, melding together with a bit of musk. Obviously it comes across very clean, very fresh. This is the first time that I've sprayed the fragrance on, so I can't really tell you guys very much about uh, performance, unfortunately. My assumption is that it would be the same as the other light blue fragrances for the most part. Uh, there's no red flags or anything. It hasn't disappeared immediately. I'm hours into spraying the fragrance on. I can still pick it up. Obviously gonna be more of a spring, summertime, daytime sort of scent. On the whole, I think it smells awesome. For the price, I think it's possibly even a better buy than Light Blue Forever. So if you don't have Light Blue Forever, maybe that one was just a little bit too aggressive for you with the grapefruit. Um, this one could work better for you and it's cheaper. Italian Love is going right up toward the very top of all of the Light Blue fragrances, all of them, right up toward the top. But I do have to, I guess, dock it some points because it's really, really similar to Light Blue Forever. When you boil it down, it's really close. In fragrance creation terms, Light Blue Italian Love smells like a modification of Light Blue Forever. Basically, it works like this. We'll pretend right now that we're the creative director of Dolce & Gabbana. We'll just make believe. And this right here is Light Blue Forever. This is the completed version of Light Blue Forever. So Light Blue Forever comes out, it does well, all that stuff. Then you decide, you know, for this year's version of Light Blue, I want a modification of this. So then you would tell the perfumer, take Light Blue Forever and go ahead and, and tweak this a little bit and tweak that a little bit. Then they do that, they send it on to you and you say, perfect. That's what's happened here. Whereas Light Blue Forever came out and it was very different and stood apart from all the other flankers in the Light Blue Perome line, this one doesn't. I love it, I think it smells awesome, but it's definitely not doing anything really unique here. They went back to the well, essentially. They're giving you a, a tweaked version of Light Blue Forever at a lower concentration and a lower price. They possibly listened to some people that said, you know, it's very interesting, but the grapefruit is too much of a bomb for me. And they toned it down a little bit and made some other changes along the periphery. Some people may find it easier to wear, but unless you're a big time fan of the Light Blue line and collecting them, or you don't own Light Blue Forever, it could be, as I said earlier, redundant to own. And that's gonna be the, the main drawback here. I'm telling you guys, I love pretty much everything about this right now. I love the packaging, I love the price, I love the smell, I love the changes that they've done. For me, it's great, but there is that redundancy issue and that's gonna be the, the big potential problem here. So you need to keep that in mind and you have to weigh it for yourself. Does this make sense for me to purchase? This is funny to me in a way, but Italian love right now, one of my favorite three designer releases easily of this year. I haven't sat down to like rank them out, but I know it would be top three. And it's so similar to Forever that that's actually kind of sad. 
I was looking just the other day at some of the releases that have come out this year so far that I own. A lot of them are pretty forgettable. Yeah, Ugh. we'll see. We'll see how the rest of the year goes. There we go, guys. Light blue Italian love for me. It's a big thumbs up with that caveat. All right, guys, it's going to do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for your support. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later. Thank you.